Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Fiesel, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to file your taxes with 1040.com. As our example today, we'll be filing a tax return for Jane and John Doe. They're a married couple who both work W-2 jobs, and they have a child named Johnny. Once you log into your account, this is the screen that you'll see. This is where you'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is put in the taxpayer's information and the spouse's information. Remember, we're doing a tax return for Jane and John Doe who are filing jointly. Once you click Next, then you'll get started. We'll start asking you questions about your filing status, your name, your address, different things that will need to go on your tax return. Once you've got all the taxpayer's information, then you'll be asked for your spouse's information. You do the same thing. Just enter the names, the social security number. And date of birth. Whenever you're entering an address, it's just as simple as putting in your zip code. And we'll fill in the rest for you. And you can move on to the next screen. When you get to school district, if you don't have a school district that we need to add to your return in your state, there won't be anything in the uh, drop down list. Just click next and move on. Once you've entered your information, you'll come to return elections. Sometimes these questions are a little challenging. You might not be sure what we're asking. When you're being asked whether or not you want to give something to the presidential election campaign fund, it's simply a fund that supports the presidential primary and general elections. This means the fund theoretically reduces a candidate's dependence on large contributions from individuals and special interest groups. Both the Republican and Democratic nominees in the general election receive a fixed amount from this fund. And nominees from other political parties may qualify for a smaller proportionate amount if they receive over 5% of the vote. If you check the box, your refund won't be affected at all. Instead, simply $3 of the tax money that you're already going to pay goes straight to the fund. Okay, so now we have in the information for both the taxpayer and the spouse. We've answered all the questions that we need to about those two individuals. That's for your federal return, but you can also have your state return done on 1040.com and it's very simple. So if you want to do your state return, you just click add my state. The information that you add will flow to your state return. You'll only have to fill out a few, uh, a few screens on your state return if there are some things that you need to adjust or change. Okay, so now that we've entered information about the taxpayer and spouse, we're going to move on and enter information about our income and the dependent. We have an easy to use menu to the left over here so that you can just click on it and go wherever it is that you would like to go into the site. But we also take you through an interview, and that's what we recommend you doing. So we'll walk you through some questions about your income at this time. As we stated earlier, we're doing a tax return for a couple that has W-2 income. This simply means that they work a job and their employer in, uh, issues them a W-2 at the end of the year to help them report their income on their tax return. So when we've been asked, do you have a W-2, we just click yes and it takes us exactly where we need to go to put in our information for the W-2. The great thing about the W-2 screen is that it's set up so that it follows the W-2 form that was sent to you by your employer. You can go through it step by step and put in the information exactly as it is in your W-2. We're gonna start with Jane's W-2. If the address that's printed on the W-2 is the exact same mailing address that you've already entered. You don't have to enter it again. Just tell us that it is. After you've entered all of your information, you save the information. And now we have it available for you. It's very simple. If you need to go back in and change something, just come back up to the tab, click on it, and you go right back into the form. Now we have the form laid out so that you can go through and make any changes that you need to make. If you find that you need to delete it and start over, just click the trash can. We'll remove the W-2, and then you can start over. Now we have two W-2s, so we're going to say yes. We're going to add another W-2. This will be John's W-2. Okay. 
Now we go back and then we see that both W-2s have been entered. We'll continue in the interview. We don't have another W-2, so we'll just simply say no, and it'll take us to the next section. All of these sections have possible income that you may need to enter. If you know that you have interest, you can just click the link. It'll take you in here and ask you about any interest that you have. You can walk through each of the interview questions in any section that you need to. Once you're finished with income, and we're finished with income, we'll just click the button at the bottom. Remember, Jane and John Doe have a dependent, so we're going to add a dependent here. If you're not sure that someone who lives in your household or that may be part of your family can be claimed on your return as a dependent, we provide you with a tool that you can go through. Just click the blue link and we'll take you to a pop-up tool that will allow you to put in information about the person that you think may be a dependent and let you know whether or not you provide you with some guidance about whether or not this person can be claimed as a dependent. So now that we know we need to add a dependent, we just answer yes to the question, and then we get the screen where we can put in the dependent's information. Once you've entered all the information and you've answered all the questions about your dependent, just save the screen and we'll add this to your return. So once you've got all the information that you need to add, you can go back and review the forms that you've added to your tax return. All you need to do is click I'd like to see all federal tax forms. These are the forms that we filled out for the tax return. You can see the W-2 wages, our dependent Johnny, and then a couple of other questions that the IRS requires us to answer based uh, about foreign accounts, virtual currency, and your recovery rebate credit. Once you've reviewed your federal return, you can click on state taxes in the left menu, and you can see that your state return is ready to file. You can also see your state forms if you filed them, if you filled out any. It's that simple to fill out the return. Click file. You can create yourself a, pre, a free preview. And so now you can view a PDF copy of the return that you just completed. You can also save it so that you'll always have a copy. We'll keep a copy in your account for you for a couple of years, but you can save it so that you'll have it as long as you need it. All you have to do now is click the File Now button, and this takes you through checkout. Before you go through checkout, we have notes to let you know things that you might want to go back and look. For example, since we've entered a dependent, we're going to give you a note letting you know that you might have dependent care expenses that you want to claim, and it gives you the opportunity to go back and add that information in. We're going to continue filing. This shows us that both returns are ready to file. If for some reason we didn't want to file the state return now, we could just click this and not file at this time and move forward and file our federal return. We're given options as we go through how we want to receive our refunds. We can do it by direct deposit, savings bonds, or receive a check in the mail. There are certain things you're gonna to have to do as you check out, just to identify yourself with the IRS. We make it simple and easy for you. Once you click this button, you've signed your return, and that's all there is to it. You're ready to e-file your tax return.